We're in Alberta now. If we didn't see the sign, we might have missed it. the provincial border to Alberta and they were very helpful um, and they told us about um, some of the, the camping areas in southern Alberta and one of the areas they recommended was Castle Provincial Park which I'd never heard of and there's some nice hiking trails, biking trails, equestrian trails here. So we're just going to go check out Bow Bay Lake Provincial Park first and they recommended that park as well. It's a very nice park so we might stay there for one night or we might come back to Castle Provincial Park. We shall see. Got a bunch of books as well. A really good idea when you first come to an area you're not familiar with is find an info center and get all your information. And it's nice to be driving in Alberta because the roads are long and straight with only small corners which is just great. Yeah. Beautiful. This is part of the country. I think we're in the foothills maybe. It's just, it's just gorgeous country, farm country, ranch country. the trail markers here in Alberta parks. BC ones are about maybe a tenth the size. Hard to miss these ones. Somebody's poked at it with something but uh, nice. Nicely done Alberta parks. So that was a nice hike. It's probably maybe seven and a half K return. It's not very long. Last section is reasonably steep so it's certainly a decent workout. It took us about an hour to get to the top. Uh, maybe 50 minutes to get back and yeah, it was really enjoyable. It was great. The flowers on route were phenomenal. We think we saw an elk in the trees. I had a picture but it's really hard to see. He stopped moving when we saw him. And then on the way out we saw the tail end of a fox. Well Mickey saw all the fox but she scared it away. Yeah. And uh, so we didn't get to unfortunately get a shot of it. Mm -hmm. But no just a nice trail. You could have stayed on the same trail and gone around the lake too which I think would have been nice. Mm -hmm. So anyway, good good hike. Good hike. Honey banjer. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. And this is a nice park. We're pretty excited about southern Alberta. Banff and Jasper get really a lot of attention, but southern Alberta's just got some spectacular parks yep. and some people that yell very well in their campsites <laughs> as well, too. Precious love, sir. Fresh chicken. Oh, just a sec, fresh. Coming. Oh.
So we're doing all campfire cooking tonight. We've got baked potatoes in on the bottom and the coals, a vegetable medley and the bigger packages on top, and then soon to be introduced some corn on the cob. So the potatoes are in for about 35 minutes they should be, or they will be when we take them out. The vegetable medley probably 20 minutes, and the corn on the cob, my guess, probably five or seven. We actually cooked some last night or the night before, but in, in the husk, just to see how that worked, and it worked fairly well. But I thought we'd just try an aluminum foil. The only thing about the husk was it wasn't evenly cooked, so we'll introduce this in a few more minutes and see how it all turns out. So pretty good. Corn needed to go back in, actually, with the um, husks and the aluminum foil. I think it's probably going to take closer to 10 minutes. This looks fine. A little bit of burning on the edges, which you expect in a fire, but otherwise the vegetables look great. Oh, there's salmon in here. Yeah, I, I didn't. That I didn't know. It looks like it's fine. Yeah, yeah looks it's nicely done. done. Yeah. Yay! I'm just, I just reheated my sausages, so... Vegetarian sausage. Awesome. Yeah. Mm, excellent. Now for the unveiling of the corn. Ooh. Ooh. It looks perfect. So we had to put it back in. It was probably in there in total for about, well actually to be honest we forgot about it once we put it back in. So it's probably closer to 12 minutes, 14 minutes, but darn close to perfect. Morning, geese. Sorry to disturb you. I'll go over on the wharf. Well, good morning. We had a nice evening here last night. Cool down though, got to about 11 degrees, so a little cooler. We had a really nice hike yesterday. We went up, I guess, Mount St. Albert. Uh, there was a young couple, probably in their early 20s, that uh, we passed and we ran into them later, not at the summit, and uh, they asked if we had run into the two bear cubs on the trail, and we hadn't, and they wisely turned around and did another trail to uh, the lower mountain, Mount Baldy. So back from the paddle, I was seeing Mickey when I was paddling. I was taking some pictures of a loon, and then behind me I hear uh, some noise and I see either a moose or an elk, we're not sure which, and her calf and they're traipsing around behind me and I'm trying to turn around to film and the wind is strong and it's blowing me down away from them so I finally paddle. I got around this point trying to see where they went and they're actually swimming across the point and they came out across on the beach just across the point so it's really pretty. I couldn't get close enough I don't think to get a decent shot and I wouldn't want to disturb them anyway but it was so cool to see them, uh, uh, the calf and the, and the moose. And those are the mosquitoes which are, mosquitoes. are almost as big as some of the moose. This thing tends to work really well, as long as it's not too windy, and if it's fairly windy, you don't need it. Thermosel. Mm -hmm. Not sponsored. That's how you scare a bear if you have the boat and you're walking on a trail. <laughs> Weather is going to dictate where we end up today. It looks much nicer in the east. One interesting thing, Alberta parks, the checkout time is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And if you follow our videos, BC checkout time is 11 a.m. So, kind of nice. Like, we actually ended up leaving at about 10.30. Uh, but 2 p.m. is a nice time to check out. Uh, the challenge, of course, is we're just about to show up at another provincial park, and it's not even, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning. So, if there are open spots, it's too early, so we'll find out. Mountains everywhere you look. Beautiful mountains. This is Sea Loop. It looks like you've got a nice lake views from some other sites. It's fairly busy as well. Occupied. They didn't put the sticker at the front, so we have to leave this spot. 
So we left Castle Provincial Park. We were sitting there trying to decide if we should stay and try to do the Table Mountain hike. And then it started to rain and the storm clouds rolled in. So that kind of made up our mind. Well, and we'll go back because it looks like a great place. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we really love it. So we'll definitely have to do a special trip back there. Uh, in the meantime, we are driving in the prairies now. Everything's flat and straight. And we are heading over to Riding on Stone Provincial Park. Um, it should be interesting. It's, uh, it's got hoodoos and some archaeological sites. We were able to reserve one night tonight. So the Alberta Parks system is nice because you can even reserve same day, uh, which is very handy. So even if we are roll in late, we don't have to worry about trying to find the site. And we just didn't want to have to rush. Look at this. this the country is just so flat. <laughs> I mean, we're less than an hour away from where we were at Castle Mountain. Probably closer to 45 minutes, actually, if not. And yet the train is just amazingly different. Short trips, it's like maybe two and a half, three K. Got lost part way through, <coughs> walked onto the wrong trail a couple times, uh, just weren't paying attention and kind of just enjoying the uh, bluffs and the rock formations. And uh, got rained on. We spent the day kind of trying to escape the rain, but it caught up with us. And now it's uh, cleared up and mm -hmm. starting to get sunny. We're having vegetarian tacos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good day. Nice hike. Yeah, nice hike. Mm -hmm. And campgrounds kind of a little busier than we prefer, but it's just nice to be in this location.
about 6.30 in the morning and I'm back out on the trail where we were yesterday uh, just taking a few photos with some sunshine instead of the cloud and light rain we had. It was gorgeous yesterday and just as nice today. Very windy. Um, I'm kind of tucked in a little cove getting out of here and my goal today is to, or goal this morning, is actually just get up a little bit farther and then float down the river. Take some shots of some of the same scenery but from the water side and if time permits I'll cross over and hike a little bit of the badlands uh, on the other side of the river and then head back and then Mickey and I will probably do a short hike to another section of the park. So if we we're in a different part of the country uh, be a good idea coming through here early in the morning to be going making some noise so you can usually just yell yo bear or uh, for those of you who know me I have the uh, Mrs. Bear song but that's a that's another story. Uh, here though I think the biggest issue is rattlesnakes and it's early in the morning so I don't think that's going to be a problem. And even then, it's very rare. We were chatting to someone yesterday who's been here for 40 years and has seen a snake maybe half a dozen times. And they don't sound like they're very aggressive. Boat here for a few minutes. I'm trying to explore this side. on the Stone Provincial Park and well, it was a great stay and uh, first of all sorry for any wind noise because it's um, it's really windy today it's a beautiful day but windy the campsite itself is actually uh, it's quite nice it's it's kind of crowded but there are a number of sites which are a lot more um, you know they have a little bit more space we didn't get one of those we got the last site was available but you know, it worked and we were close to the river and close to the small hiking trails and I got across the river this morning and up on the terrain behind the camp so it was just it was a great trip. It's turnaround day it's Thursday so we're still not sure exactly which route we're going to take but first of all we'll go through Lethbridge Alberta and then we'll decide how we get home. We'll see where we end up maybe we'll go somewhere where no one's gone before.
try on different costumes from Star Trek and get a photo with the green screen. I don't think we're going to try it this time. Free camping for three days and then $10 a night. Bokeem Municipal Campground. Very simple little campground. Bathrooms in there. Apparently, okay. looking at the reviews. It's simple but works if you're just trying to spend one night somewhere. But we have to get out of Dodge now because there's a severe thunderstorm warning and uh, Vulcan is included in that warning and they're reporting... Um, Ping pong sized hail. So yeah, they're trying they to said that. they had walnut size in Calgary when the storm went through Calgary. This way? Yeah, so we're gonna <laughs> hightail it away from the storm. Well, that's the storm we're trying to avoid. Looks pretty bad. So here we are at the Oldman River uh, Dam campground and this is a provincial park, Alberta Provincial Park. There's plenty of sites available and it actually is quite a nice park and the bad weather actually is over there near the mountains. So right now it's uh, breezy but it's actually quite nice here. Alberta for the first time, we found this map really, really useful. It's the Alberta's Provincial Parks and Protected Areas Roadmap, and it has all of the provincial parks and all the amenities that the parks have listed here. And it's also a really good roadmap. We actually used it to travel in southern Alberta. It tended to be more effective than our GPS. Yeah, so definitely when you enter Alberta and go to an info center, pick one of these up. Well, we're almost back in BC. We're right at the BC uh, Alberta border, and you can see what's outside of our windows. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe. And just want to thank everyone, all our viewers and subscribers. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so because it really gives us an idea of, of how much you like our videos and our channel. And uh, if you want to really go crazy, click on that notification bell and you can be notified every time we release a new video. I want to thank you for coming along the journey with us. And we'll see you next time.